Hello, hello. Um, welcome again to another wonderful session of Everyday Mathematics. As we always say, at Everyday Mathematics, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but also we do appreciate the beauty in the simple problems. So today we are still on the MIT 2022 Integration B semifinals. Uh, this humongous topic of trigonometry, uh, we moved from problem two that we did previously, and now we're going to look at problem four. Um, the problem is uh, the integration of natural logarithm of root three plus tan x, uh, integrating from zero to pi over six. Now, before we begin, a huge thanks to our subscribers. We do really appreciate your support. We don't take it for granted. And yeah, we, we're enjoying it, we're growing, and we love it. Uh, for those of you who are here for the very first time, we do encourage you to just tap on that subscribe button. Uh, you won't regret it. If you're here for the second, third, fourth time and haven't subscribed, please entrust us with that support. Now we want to support you. So forward to the solution to this problem. Um, the first thing that I'm inclined to do is one, um, I'll look at root three here and then I'll tan x. So I'll express tan x as uh, the ratio of sine x. Uh, and cosine x. And then uh, we are going to create cosine x as the common denominator. So we have root three cosine x plus sine x over cosine x. Now using the rule of logarithms, so we're going to now subtract the log of cosine x uh, from the root three cosine x plus sine x log. Now, um, I would like to express this addition into a simple uh, cosine function. And uh, how I would go about doing that is first, I will square root three and then add one square that is uh, four. Root of four is two, so I'll pull two out and then divide root three by two cosine x plus uh, one over two. So as you can see, root three over two is the same as cosine of pi over six, and half is the same as sine of pi over six. So um, what we can do now is express that two cosine pi over six cosine x plus sine pi over six, uh, I, uh, sine x. So we have uh, a mistake there. And what I'm going to do is make sure that this is not part of the, the deal. That was a typing mistake. So uh, that means now we have two cosine x minus pi over six. Uh, this all under log minus log of cosine x. Now again, we can use the law of uh, not the law, but the rule of logarithm, and then separate two and the cosine x minus pi over six. So um, now we have the integral of log two plus log cosine x minus pi over six minus log cosine x. So separating these integrals out, so we have three separate integrals. Um, and the integral that I'm really keen about is that middle integral. Um, I would like to show that this integral here is the same as uh, the last integrals. And how we go about doing that is first we let um, we let uh, x minus pi over six be equal to u, so u is equal to x minus pi over six, such that du dx is one, and so du uh, dx is, du is equal to dx. And then when you look at the limits, when x is zero, uh, u becomes uh, negative pi over six, and when pi over six, x is equal to pi over six, u is zero. So, um, 
So essentially, we have this 0 to 5 over 6 integral of log cosine x minus 5 over 6 is equal to the integral of log of log integral of log cosine u from negative 5 over 6 to, to 0. So therefore, our original integral, uh, integral of log root 3 plus uh, log uh, root 3 plus tan x from 0 to 5 over 6 is the same as the integral of log 2, which is a constant from 0 to 5 over 6, plus the integral of 0 to 5 over 6 of log cosine uh, x minus pi over 6 minus the integral of log cosine x from 0 to pi over 6. So the second integral, as we uh, were able to show previously, is the same as uh, the integral of uh, log cosine x from negative pi over 6 to 0. And if we look at the plot of cosine x, yeah, from negative pi over 6 to 0 is a reflection of the same plot of cosine x from 0 to pi over 6. So what this really means is that if I integrated uh, the log of cosine x in this uh, pi over 6 to 0 domain, negative pi over 6 to 0 domain, I would get the same answer as when I integrated from 0 to pi over 6, the same function. So meaning that these two integrals are equal, and so uh, those would cancel out, and we have zero from there, right? So as we said, the integral of log cosine x from uh, pi over 6 to 0 is the same as the integral of 0 to pi over 6 of log, log cosine x, because it's an even um, function around 0 within that domain, right? Um, and so um, those would cancel out, and so we're left with the integral of log 2 from 0 to pi over 6. And so our answer is log 2 uh, x uh, 0 to pi over 6. And so the final answer here is uh, pi over 6 times log 2. This is our, our final answer. Well, um, this was suddenly fun um, getting to solve it. Um, thank you so much for your company. Uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, again, a big reminder that, yeah, we do need your support. We do need it. Uh, we like to grow. We like to grow with you and make this a daily experience for you. Thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. Uh, tout à l'heure, à la prochaine fois.